Hi, I'm Matt with DMC. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use DMC's insertion and removal tools. DMC offers a wide range of IR tools to accommodate both front and rear release connectors. These tools come in straight, angled, offset, and joggled tips in probe, spring-loaded probe, tweezer, and plier styles. These tools come in plastic and metal options. When possible, we recommend metal tools as they are known for their durability and are less likely to cause damage to connector sealing grommets. Our tool part numbering system makes it easy to identify each tool. The R in DRK indicates a removal tool. The A in DAK indicates an insertion tool. The H in DHK indicates an insertion and removal tool. Many of our IR tools are also color coded to easily identify contact sizes or connector series. To find the correct IR tool for your connector, determine the connector series and the type of contacts being used. Then use DMC's cross-reference material or the tool selection search on our website to select the appropriate tool. I'll be demoing the DAK95-12B and the DRK95-12B tweezer style tools which are intended for use on rear releasing connectors beside opposite of the mating end. To insert a contact into a connector using a tweezer style tool, squeeze the tool open and lay the crimp barrel or shoulder of the contact at the tip of the tool. With the tool and the contact in line with the connector, insert the tool into the connector grommet until the contact is seated in position. You may hear or feel a click that signals the opening and closing of the retaining fingers. Gently remove the tool from the connector. Slightly tug on the wire to ensure that the contact is seated properly or use one of DMC's retention tester tools. To remove a contact from the connector using a tweezer style tool, squeeze the tool to position the wire in the tweezers. Then push the tool into the connector until you hear or feel the click. Using your other hand to hold the wire, pull back on the tool to release the contact from the connector. Alternatively, you may use plastic IR tools for re-releasing connectors. One side of the plastic tools are designed for inserting contacts. The other side is for removing contacts. Next, I will demonstrate our DRK 16B and DAK 16B probe style tools on front release connectors. Contacts are still inserted and removed from the side opposite the mating end, but the contacts are released and unlocked from the mating end of the connector. To insert a contact using a probe style tool, align the wire and crimp barrel of the contact with the tip of the tool. Gently push it until the contact is seated in the connector. You may hear or feel a click. Slightly tug on the wire to ensure the contact is seated properly. To remove a contact using a probe style tool, center the tip of the tool over the contact on the front side of the connector. Insert the tool until you feel or hear a click. Push the plunger forward to release the contact from the connector. Remove the contact and wire from the back of the connector. Next, I will be demoing the DRK276-22D, Unwired Removal Tool. These tools are designed to remove contacts that are unwired or attached to broken wire without damaging connectors. DMC offers unwired contact removal tool sets that cover a wide range of contact sizes. These sets can come with either plastic or metal probe options. We recommend metal probes because they are more durable and less likely to break. To remove a contact from a connector with a broken wire, or no wire at all, insert the tool on the rear side of the connector. Push until you hear or feel a click. Pull the tool straight out. Then use the plunger mechanism on the handle to release the contact from the tool. DMC offers several IR kits, including the DMC-115, a general purpose IR tool kit for many common mil-spec and d miniature connectors. Please visit our website for more information. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on our social media.